Cloud hosted router on the uh, Amazon Web Services uh, cloud computing platform. So I've got a diagram here uh, that I've uh, come up with that can uh, help to explain why you might want to do this. So I've got site A and site B here uh, that might want to communicate with each other. This can be two separate office locations that might want to share information such as data database files, uh, documents, uh, and applications. So to set up the connection uh, and to set up the connection actually and to communicate site A, the router on site A, the microtech router on site A would actually connect out to the cloud hosted router and then in turn the cloud hosted router will then connect out to site B's router. So that's how they would actually be able to communicate. Such a setup might be useful in an area, in a situation or an area whereby you can't get an internet connection that is a static public IP address or you're using a, uh, a temporary internet connection that you're probably going to get rid of in the near future you can actually use the setup like this one to to set up a site-to-site -site, uh, vpn so uh, i've actually already logged into my uh, amazon account and then i'm now going to show you how you can actually uh, uh, deploy the uh, micro uh, cloud hosted router on uh, aws so on the uh, on the management console, uh, use the search bar at the top of the page to search for EC2. So on the search result, uh, under the services section, click on EC2. So this will actually open the uh, EC2 management console. And then on the console, click on the launch instance button. So once you click on launch instance, click on the AWS uh, marketplace uh, tab. And then on this tab, use the search bar to search for Microtik. So I'm going to search for Microtik. And then uh, on the Cloud Hosted Router search result, click on the uh, Select button. So once you've selected the uh, Microtik Cloud Hosted Router uh, Amazon Machine image, you actually get a uh, pop-up window uh, as displayed here that just shows you uh, additional information about this uh, Microtik AMI. So you actually get uh, fees uh, related to this AMI to say if you're going to deploy it on a T2.nano instance type, you actually have to pay uh, 0 0.006 cents per hour. So the larger the instance type, the more that you're going to have to, to pay per month. So to continue with the installation, click on continue. And then on the choose instance type page, we are actually going to select the uh, free tier option. Let me see if I've actually got it. Okay. So the T2.micro free tier option uh, instance type is what you're going to select. And then uh, click on the review and launch button. Okay. Um, so you actually need to then uh, choose to boot from a general purpose SSD. Um, so I'm going to select the make general purpose SSD, the de default boot volume for all instance solutions from the console going forward, and then click on uh, next. So, uh, so this is the review uh, instance launch page. So this way you can actually review details of the uh, cloud hosted router instance. Uh, so if you would like to make any changes, you can just expand into each section and then you can make any changes or adjustments that you want to make, or you can simply click on the previous button to go back to previous uh, sections. So, uh, the next thing that you need to do now is to click on the launch button. So when you click on the launch button, you actually, uh, the, uh, uh AWS console will actually prompt you to select an existing key pair or to create a new key pair. So a key pair is actually a file that you use to actually connect to the instance via SSH. So without this file, you won't be able to gain access to this uh, instance via SSH. So on the choose an existing key pair drop down menu, click on the create new key pair. And then on the key pair name, I'm going to call this uh, Microtik. And then uh, click on the download key pair button. So once you've downloaded your key pair, click on the launch instances button. So this will actually uh, uh, prove 
uh, deploy the uh, Microtech Cloud Hosted Router on the uh, Amazon Web Services, the cloud computing platform. So in the next step, I am actually then going to show you how you can then set a static IP address on the router and then how you can connect to the router using Winbox and install updates and uh, download backups for your, for your router. Okay, so the uh, next thing that we're actually going to do is to name the instance. So we're just going to give it a name that will actually help us to identify this, uh, the Microtech cl Cloud Hosted uh, Router. So if you click just below where it says name where I'm actually hovering my mouse, you'll see there's a small edit icon. So if you click on that uh, edit icon, you'll see a uh, edit name uh, pop-up window where you can actually input a name. So we're actually going to call it Microtech VM and then click on save. So we actually named this instance, which will actually help us to identify it uh, in the case, in the event that we're going to have uh, additional uh, instances that we're going to create in the future. So the next thing that we're now going to do is to set a static IP address on this uh, um, uh, cloud hosted route. So to do that, uh, go to the network and security section and then click on the elastic IPs uh, option. Once you've done that, click on the allocate elastic IP address button and then click on allocate. So uh, the uh, EC2 console will go forward to request for a public IP address and then it will then take that public IP address and associate it with your AWS account. So you can actually use this uh, public IP address for even other AWS services that are not even uh, EC2 related. So the next thing that you now need to do is to then attach this IP address to the uh, Microtech uh, public hosted uh, route. So click on actions. Actually, you need to make sure that you've selected the uh, public IP address and then click on actions and then click on associate elastic IP address. On the associate elastic IP address page, select the instance and then also select the private IP address for that same instance and then click on the uh, allow this elastic IP address to be reassociated uh, checkbox. Once you've done this, click on the uh, associate button. So we've actually created a mapping for this uh, public IP address to the uh, 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 Microtech uh, uh, cl Cloud Hosted Router. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to edit the uh, security group for the Cloud Hosted Router so that it accepts connections on Winbox port 8291. So to do that, um, click on the uh, instance ID and then click on the security tab. Once you've actually done that, uh, click on the uh, security groups link and then click on actions and then click on uh, edit inbound routes rules. So once you've done that, click on the add rule button and then select the custom TCP option. On the port train option, enter H291 and then once you've actually done that, you now need to then click on uh, the save rules button. Actually, the first thing that you need to do before you do that is to input the uh, address 0.0.0 slash .0 save. So this simply tells the uh, this simply tells the uh, uh, security group that accept uh, connections on port 8291 from any device from anywhere. So once you've actually done this, click on the save rules button. So we've actually configured port uh, uh, TCP port uh, 8291 to be accepted uh, whenever there's a, a, any connection on uh, 8291 to be actually as accepted. So the next thing that we're now going to do is to then connect to this instance using the uh, Winbox uh, configuration utility. So to do that, uh, copy the uh, public IP address for the uh, instance, that's the elastic IP address that we actually allocated to this um, uh, instance. And then what you're going to actually do is to then open Winbox. And then uh, we're actually going to then paste that uh, address in the connect to field in the Winbox configuration utility. So I'm just waiting for the uh, Winbox app to open. Uh, it takes about a minute or so to open because uh, it's actually I'm actually I'm actually uh, uh, using a Mac. So once the uh, Winbox configuration utility is opened, 
paste in the uh, public IP address for the Microtik Cloud Hosted Router and then ensure that on the login input uh, box you've set the address, uh, the login to admin. Once you've actually done that, click on the connect button. So we should now be logged in to the uh, Cloud Hosted Router. And then from here, you can then configure uh, as many uh, uh, applications and services that are supported by uh, Microtech. You can create VPN connections. You can configure the Microtech file for different use cases and so forth and so on. So, but usually uh, one of the first things that you need to do is to set a password for the uh, Cloud Hosted Router. So to set a password, click on System and then click on Password. So leave the old, old password field blank and then on the new password field, I'm then going to type in a password that will actually ensure that the uh, the cloud hosted router is uh, secure and that no one can just simply connect to it as they please. So I'm just going to configure a password and then once you've done that, click on change. So we've configured a password for the uh, cloud hosted router and then the next thing that we're going to do is to check for updates. So click on system and then click on packages. So once you've actually done that, then click on the uh, check for updates option. So I'm actually going to choose the stable channel and then uh, Microtech actually has the capability of actually checking and installing updates on its own. Well, not on its own entirely, but the checking is done automatically. So once you've done the check, click on the download and install button. So Microtech, so the download, so it's now actually, it's actually downloaded the, uh, the update, which was actually quite quick. And then we're just waiting for the cloud hosted router to restart and then we should be able to then instantly reconnect to the uh, instance. So it should uh, reconnect automatically. Uh, let me just check if we can see if it's actually restarted. Because uh, on this on the on the EC2 dashboard it says that it's running. Uh, and then let me actually try to connect now. Actually, we need to configure the password. So I'm just going to type in the password right quickly. Um, so I'm typing in the password for the cloud of the router. And then click on connect. Okay, so we're actually logging in now. Uh, okay, so uh, it, before you act, it actually logs in, it needs to download what are called descriptors. And then once the download is done, uh, you should then be able to proceed with the config. Okay, so the uh, system update for the cloud hosted router is complete. And uh, this actually marks the end of this tutorial. So there you have it, folks. This is how you can deploy a router in the cloud. Uh, if you need a VPN router or a router that can bridge uh, uh, public and private clouds, you can actually use this uh, cloud hosted router. I really hope that this tutorial has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.